Tenable's log correlation engine performs log aggregation, normalization, and correlation for ingestion into the Security Center console. This is an example of the LCE interface, where you can see your statistics, service status, LCE clients, and configure policies for log forwarding. LCE ingests ASCII log data and applies normalization rules to that data. It can ingest this log data through syslog forwarding and LCE client forwarding. When deploying the LCE clients to machines, they get installed on each host and then call back to the LCE server. You need to authorize them in the LCE server when they appear in the client's portion of the GUI. The Configuration tab allows you to configure your LCE server for listening address, ports, inclusion and exclusion ranges, and other advanced options. All data is stored in silos, so you can configure how large you want those silos here. Archiving can also be enabled in order to quickly assess archived data. Be aware that the archive is virtually limitless, so you want to be mindful of the size. The Policies tab allows you to add or remove log data from each policy type depending on the verbosity that you want. You can also specify the file integrity monitoring portion here. After you get your log data set up in the LCE server, you can add it in through the Security Center admin login. I would also ensure that you are sending your Nessus Network Monitor logs to LCE in order to get the most from your deployment. Once your LCE is linked, Security Center will begin querying logs from the LCE server. You can see this log data under Event Analysis and can apply a number of filters to it, such as time frame, IP address, specific syslog text, and other filters. You could also build a query to quickly load for future searches. What you see here is called a type summary. LCE has over 30 types of normalized event categories that range from login failures and vulnerabilities discovered to continuous network traffic. You would look for a spike in events in a category because this would indicate an abnormality in your trending data. Drilling down into one of the spikes for continuous connections, you can see each type of connection. Drilling down again into SSH client activity allows you to see a list of events. I usually like to switch the view here to raw syslog events so I can determine exactly what's happening from a more forensic perspective. In this example, NNM detected a 420-minute SSH session. Taking a look at the dashboards, you can see which dashboards require which components. These dashboards are automatically populated with the data once it starts coming in from each sensor. Something that you will likely find interesting is the 800 series dashboards, which outline both RMF and DFARS. There's a video on the Ask ACAS website on how to populate the CCRI dashboard. Some of the other interesting things you could do with LCE include threat hunting for indicators of compromise or insider threats. LCE events feed into over 150 of our dashboards and reports. Finally, take a look at the workflow alerts. This is the way to automate some of the more advanced functionality within Security Center, such as emailing based on log data or kicking off scans against an asset that has recently been discovered through NNM. One of the more common alerts that users set up for event data is a syslog text match. You can specify syslog terms to alert on here, and then select an action that should occur if that text is detected.